My name's Jordan Young. I'm a track and field thrower from Canada. For over a decade, I've been working to understand every aspect of throwing. I'm an athlete, which means the only way to be great is through raw hard work and determination. This is my story. I'm going to be taking on one of athletics' biggest challenges, the Olympic Games. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. If you guys are throwing a lot of discus, you may find yourself developing a blister on your finger. So in today's video, I want to start off by showing you guys how I take my finger to avoid the blister in the first place. But if you've already got one, it can be a good way to save you so that you can get through practice pain-free and still have a good productive day. Also starting off this week, I'm going to be throwing the 2K and the 2.25K. And then the next practice, I'm gonna do the 2.25 and the 2.5K. So I'm gonna be mixing it up every day, but for today it's the 2K and the 2.25. Let me show you how to tape your finger and then let's get into some throwing. All right, so to tape my finger, what I do is take a regular roll of tape and I rip it into about a three quarter of an inch section. But what I do is I start by going right above that first knuckle and going all the way down to the back of my hand. Then when I loop it around to the other side, once it starts to grab onto the tape, what I do is I pinch it and flip the tape around. So now the, the sticky side is up. And by starting on the back of my hand, I can have the twist on my fingernail and that way it's not gonna interfere. I don't wanna twist it too high up so that the knot is right on top of my finger. So this way the knots or the twisted part of the tape is on the back of my finger. I continue to wrap it around one more time. So now it's three layers of tape thick. Two of them are upside down and one of them is stuck to my finger and this kind of holds itself in place. Um, stays nice and sticky, that way you've got good grip on the rim. This is how I like it, it covers it up, gives me good grip. If I have a blister, it stops it from hurting so I can continue to throw. And if your finger is really sensitive and just starting, then it's a good thing that you can put on. So you can continue to throw and not have to worry about a sore finger. So because I'm throwing two different weighted discuses today, I'm going to start off with the 2Ks, do two 2K throws, and then do my two 2.25K throws, go retrieve, come back, and continue that cycle throughout the rest of practice. things I'm working on trying to feel my hips rotate around my right side so I'm feeling that left hip go all the way around as I'm winding back I got to try to remember keep reaching long with my off arm keep my arms nice and separated and then work everything around and last one I want to make sure that I'm not staying back too far on my back leg so like my full throw I want to think about getting the head and the foot down to the front Moving on to full throws, and there's a few cues that I've been thinking about. I wanna just remind myself of those before I start. So I'm winding back, I'm visualizing an axis going through my foot that I'm gonna to need to reach around. That keeps everything nice and rotational. I'm thinking about getting my big toe on my left foot all the way around my right hip, firmly planted down in the middle. And then as I'm getting my block foot down, I wanna think about bringing my head and my block foot together. So they're both coming down together, and that's gonna help me get everything into the throwing direction. It felt crappy out of the back, but it actually felt like it had decent power and direction.
All right, so I've been slowly experimenting with things in the back during practice today. And a couple cues that I've been kind of running through is that as I wind back, instead of thinking about staying centered in the middle of my body, I was thinking about reaching a bit longer with my off arm that way to try to keep my shoulders separated. Like in a stand throw, I'm trying to, I was trying to feel the same kind of thing, stretching it out and reaching back. And then what I liked my last throw was that I was trying to exit the back and be a little bit taller been definitely feeling like it's getting a bit, a bit leaning forward out of the back, reaching long with my off arm, and trying to stay nice and tall on the way out of the back. I kind of forgot to think about staying tall on that one. I felt like I was leaning forward a bit. Yeah, that was far. Same thing, reaching long. Visualizing that axis, getting back around, trying to stay nice and tall. Oh man. All right, so I just strapped up with the roadie shot put glove and I'm gonna try out a few shot put throws, see how things are feeling, see if the shoulders have been feeling better. It definitely has been feeling better in everything that I do in regular life. So I guess I'm gonna try a shot put now. I've got the roadie glove on so that I don't mess up my forearm or something because it's haven't touched it for such a long time. I'm probably gonna start off with some really easy picking and then I might just go into some really easy full throws, just trying to get a feel for the shot put again. All right, so one of the biggest concepts that I've been feeling this year that I've never really understood before is the feeling of my left hip really rotating around my right hip out of the back so i want to make sure that i'm really doing that to start off with shot put getting down to the middle and then probably the same thing thinking about getting my foot and my head down to the toe board just like how i'm doing in discus drive everything Yeah. Probably gonna make this one my last one for today because I don't wanna overdo it. It's Monday and I got the whole week to keep throwing. Feel my hip rotate wide around my right side out of the back. So wide left hip around my right hip. Walk. Yeah, I don't really have much to say about the finish right now because I haven't felt it for so long. Um, just try to punch it nice and straight and get a good snap out of my fingers. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I'm really pleased with how things are going right now. Discus is feeling solid, but the main thing is that I'm getting reps and just Gonna continue to be out here as much as possible, getting as many reps as possible, and that's gonna go a long way to helping me throw far this year. Shot put, I'm very happy that I can get back out and start to get a few reps, and it felt good, didn't feel any pain at all and anywhere. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next one.